Now, it's the Sports Extra. Hey everybody, Ronnie Duncan here. You know, the Cavaliers in Hollywood trying to act like a basketball team, taking on the Clippers, hoping to end that six-game losing streak, if you know what I mean. Six games, it all started right here in Cleveland. Early this month, when they lost to the Clippers, Andre Drummond out. Bickerstaff says he wants him to get his back together. Well, I tell you what, this is how it all starts. Cavs took the lead because Kawhi Leonard and Paul George were not there. Isaac Okoro, 4-2 Cavs early. Oh, I'm feeling good. Elizabeth, I might come home to join you. Then the Nets took an 11-9 lead. Watch this slick move by Lou Williams. Uh-oh, 13-11, sweet Lou again. And this time he's going to be fouled, plus one. 16-11, Clippers, 42-32. Clippers have the lead in the second quarter. Now on the college troops, Michigan and Wisconsin this afternoon. Wolverines, first time in 23 games. You know the COVID restriction thing. Well, anyway, they were down 14, but then Isaac Livers doing his thing. Livers was like the lover. On Valentine's Day, he had 20 points. Check him out here. He made the nice move there, and then he gets a little help with some really good passing, and you know what? Watch this. In your face, out of space, Wolverines win it. 67 to 59. All right, so you're a football fan. NFL fans have survived the first Sunday without football. That's right, the Super Bowl was last week. But you know what? What's coming up big? It's right here in Cleveland. The NFL draft late in April in the land. Now, it went virtual a season ago in Las Vegas. The question was, was the experience going to be like Nashville in 2019? Well, David Gilbert of the Greater Cleveland Sports Commission gives his thoughts on the idea. The reality during the pandemic is having people um, elbow to elbow and shoulder to shoulder, you know, with, with 100,000 or more people at any one time isn't in the cards. There still is room for a large live event that can still be socially distanced, can still be safe for people, um, and still provide a, a, a lot of the experience that Nashville did. Let's see what happens with that. You know, Laura's home. It is a place for women, a crisis center, part of the city mission. And on Monday, they will get a shot in the arm and some food. And I'm talking soul food from the Cleveland Browns, from a black owned business. And it's all supporting Black History Month. For Black History Month, um, the Browns organization um, started a new initiative to not only give to the community, but to support small black businesses. And one of those businesses selected was Lenore Meadows Soul for Real Barbecue in Strongsville, about two miles from the Browns Complex. Welcome to Soul for Real. How am I to help you? With ribs smoking on the grill, inside some fried fish, macaroni and cheese, and all of the delicacies, the goodies inside are good for the soul. Lenore believes that her blessing to serve and to assist the Browns on this mission is a miracle. Her teammates, her family, and together, they are preparing meals they hope will win the hearts of over 130 mothers in crisis. We're a small family-owned business. Um, I am blessed to have my family with me, from my sisters to my children, to my nephews, uh, to my mom. Many players on the team, as well as Brown staff members, frequent so for real, including running back coach Stump Mitchell. And all of a sudden, we got in different coaches from Coach Stump to um, XO, uh, we've had a few of the players also here um, that come in to get a hot meal, and I think Stump's favorite is the catfish. Hey, hey, yummy, yummy for your tummy. Three, two, one, I'm done.